I'm a practicing lawyer for 38 years, done a lot of serious cases, and I started feeling different. Not depressed, but just like it finally wore me out. Like the stress had finally met its goal. And in January of 2018, they diagnosed me with ALS on the same day that my father passed at 91 years old. It was not a good day. Rocket Rosen has lost 50 pounds. At 63 years old, the attorney spends his time in a loft above his office in Richmond. Family members always close by. Now all of a sudden, I can't comb my hair. I can't drive my car. I can't wipe my bottom. Are you kidding me? I was so angry, so mad. I was a pity party. I felt sorry for myself. And that lasted for about five months, and I thought about it. And from that point on, I said, you know what? People have it worse than you, Rocket Rosen. If only it didn't take getting sick to realize it. I want to deliver a message to you today. Because for the past seven months, I've been an observer. Not a talker, like I've been my whole life. He started recording don't videos. Don't say so, and don't say like. Be proud of your speech. His daughter posting them on social media. That's what I want to talk about today. Motivation. His illness, hopefully enough to be someone else's wake-up call. Rocket Rosen, why didn't you, during your 38 years as a professional person, learn to smell the roses? He's reached tens of thousands of people all over the world. And I'm trying to tell the young people, walk on your own, eat on your own, be courageous, be smart, be unselfish. How do you do it's the question. I don't know how you do it, but you can surely try. <laughs> oh. Oh Hi. Victims of Lou Gehrig's disease lose control of their muscles while their minds remain intact. Rosen has tried a stem cell treatment, but there's no real cure. What he can do is support ALS research at walks like this. We're dancing and follow his own advice. But focusing on the good is a daily struggle for him and his family. I haven't changed. For him not to be able to use his hands and to see his voice going and breathing, that's the hardest watching him suffer because, I mean, he, he's been our best friend our whole lives. Play hard, play smart, <laughs> and let's go win. Thank you. You just have to be so positive. Like, Daddy, you gotta keep going. A miracle can happen, a cure can happen any day. And this was a reminder he has a lot of people in his corner. How are you? Thank you. People Hello. who consider him family, even if he's really a neighbor or softball coach. I live in New York now, and he's been, you know, putting his voice out there and posting these videos and things. And for me, I'm one of the lucky few that has his voice in my head daily and everything that I do telling me to, you know, play harder, to have more fun and just to live life to the fullest. Always trying to get better and make people better. Rocket Rosen has made a name for himself, defending clients accused of some of the worst crimes. And then all of a sudden, one morning, they're attacked and then they're fugitives from justice. He's gotten enough publicity in his career to fill a book, this just from the Branch Davidians trial. But his wins and losses aren't measured by verdicts anymore. My life has always been, I wanted to be a good father. I wanted to be a father that the girls would be proud of. Even though he's short of breath. I got a bad hand, but I'm not folded. The outspoken attorney still has a way with words. Stay courageous, stay strong, stay motivated. Rosen just hopes you listen.